tell me that they were on, uh, on a yellow. They needed one more booking to have Christmas off, so they purposely go into a game, take the shirt off, give a little nudge, do a little to get the yellow card to have Christmas I, look, off. I would say yes. I would say yes. Now, I'm not saying yes because I've had the chat with people saying that was deliberate. Obviously, you have banter in the dressing room when it happens, but you are you are aware how many bookings you're on. You're aware when you're suspended. And throughout my career, there's been some dodgy yellow cards in the games before. And has anyone, don't name names or any clubs, but has anyone ever said in the dressing room, I'm going to get a yellow today, so I've got Christmas off? Not before. Never before. I've never heard it before. Okay. After... They've There's said. a few cheers a going smile. on, yeah. Okay. Um, do you really have to train on Christmas Day? Yes, yes. Um, Why is that? Because you've got to go on Boxing Day? Yeah. If if you're... It varies. If you're at home on Boxing Day, you train You train in the morning and then you go and spend the, the evening and the afternoon, the afternoon evening with, so with you, your family. So you train Christmas Day morning? Christmas Day morning, right. okay. yeah, for a Boxing Day at home. If you're away, you spend Christmas morning at home and then you meet potentially in the afternoon to train... And um, and travel and travel into a hotel. Yeah, do you? Quick story about that. Now, I will name him because he he was a great character. Ben Thatcher. I played at Cholton. Yeah. Um, with him, and then I went to Ipswich with him, and this happened at Ipswich. Um, we're training Christmas morning. We had to be there. I think eight o'clock. We were, and he was big on eight o'clock. He kept saying it because he was one of the main senior pros. So eight o'clock comes. He's not in. So we, we end up going up, we're warming up and half eight comes, he's still not in. We're doing the little seven aside game, getting our legs moving. And then everyone's thinking, what, what's, this, what's this noise? And over the trees comes a helicopter. The helicopter lands in the middle of our seven aside pitch. Everyone's obviously scattered, run away. And uh, he jumps out in his full kit, in football boots, in a bib, because there was orange in no, the room, but in a bib. No, and was didn't. like, let's go, let's go. And then the helicopter flew off. And for an hour of training, it was circling the training ground. And then at the end, obviously, he put his hand... I I promise you, this happened. And it took him home? Put his hand up, come and landed, and took him home. He lived in Surrey. And he he used to stay in Ipswich quite a lot, but he lived in Surrey, and this time he he didn't fancy... uh, So his mate... Did he not get slaughtered for coming to work in a helicopter? Yeah, yeah, but he didn't care. He didn't care. Probably the biggest character I've played with in the game actually okay. Ben Thatcher was so funny he's and, done some nasty things though right yeah he done he's done some nasty things in his career yeah, yeah. and probably out of his career as well if I'd say okay. so yeah alright we'll, we'll move on swiftly um, how does your family feel when you're away at Christmas time um, they get used to it they, they obviously they get used to it yeah my, when when it was just me and, and the missus it was it was easier um, obviously you still want to spend Christmas time with your family but once you once kids come into the equation, it's a lot more difficult when they're young and they they understand Christmas and you know they're saying, "Daddy, we don't want you to go," and you still have to go. That that's quite difficult, and the kids tend to get over it pretty quickly if their toys are all set up. So yeah, it's it's not nice for you as a person just to go and, and miss it because you do you miss the Christmas do, dinner. Do you, you get on with your in laws? Yes. Okay. Because a lo- a lot of if not all families, you're all together at Christmas time. Yeah. Some some people might not. Like, get on with the in-laws so the opportunity to say to the wife and the family and the, I've got to go football <laughs> training now bye a lot of Even people are not on <laughs> <laughs> you're not quite you're suspended you picked up that <laughs> but uh, I'm guessing there will be some people you you played with that will be more than happy to have the oh, family absolutely and people that uh, some sometimes even the foreign players who live alone obviously can't cook so they, they're delighted to be out in the hotels and getting Christmas yeah. dinners and whatever dinner you have and the night before, they're, they're buzzing. And the first hour or so when you turn up, particularly the night one when you're missing the night, the first hour is kind of quiet because you've got the family guys that are a bit disappointed just to leave and, and then the others just waiting for dinner. Okay. What about the Christmas parties? There must be a few stories that you've got from Christmas parties. Don't If there are, bear in mind what time of... Usually I ask this question on the sports bar so we can get away with it at 11 o'clock at night. But bear in mind what time it is now. Are there any stories you can tell us... That yeah, have gone on. listen, there's a lot of stories you can't t- can't say and I won't say, but I was never really a massive fan of going out and, and I still am not really. Why I, is that? I, I don't know. I just, I, I like time with my family. You, I like, I like being at home. I never was. I mean, okay. obviously I grew up with Darren Bennett at Ipswich and we was, we just never drunk and, and I think my first ever drink was my wedding night. I think I was 23. It was the first ever drink. <laughs> don't tell that to your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I needed it. I drink. needed a drink. <laughs> Your first ever drink was your wedding night. What did you drink? Um, Just a beer, I think, yeah. Okay. Just a beer. What, like 5 p.m. or like when you were going to bed or what? No, it was just throughout the day. I was like, right, yeah, we sat down and... Made a big deal. No, it was like, right, let's just In a minute it'll be the first dance, but before that it's time (laughs) for my first Heineken. Just before I said I do, I needed a few drinks. That, That was the problem, yeah, but... I mean... How old were you when you got married? 23. Your first beer was when you were 23? Yeah. 
first drink, first ever yeah, alcoholic drink. For a footballer, drink. that is crazy. Yeah, but I never see, never needed to because obviously I grew up in digs with Benny and we just didn't drink. And I, Benny, I th- Benny will have an alcoholic drink now. He will now, yeah, but I think he was a lot later than me. I yeah, think his maybe. first one was in the 30s. I think but that explains so much it, it does yeah it does but we never needed to we we could have fun without it I'm not saying you needed to but a lot of footballers you know there's that peer pressure when you go out with a group yeah. of lads and they're all drinking and I'm sure there it. would have been if I was in digs with someone else potentially there would have been that peer pressure but the fact none of us drunk it was That's never nice. seen the point to go out we just nice. go out to cinemas and, and play computers and stuff which is why Bentley is a big gamer now yeah. as we speak but um, yeah I was having my second child I believe and kind of gave me a little excuse to not go out now i said it was it's early december so i'm like oh my, my, my miss is heavy pregnant um seemed to be pregnant for years my miss is but heavy pregnant and um i mean we didn't have her till the 16th of january so i was i was lying a little bit but i got fined and i got a bit of a hefty fine as well and um, how much uh i think i think it was a thousand pound at the time okay. i was at ipswich so i was like but i'm I had a genuine excuse. What did you get fined for? For not going to For not going, yeah, because it was a team bonding thing. It was out in Dublin as well. So I I was like, I've got a genuine excuse. There's two or three players not coming and they haven't got an excuse. And everyone's paid it. And I've spoke to the lads and have you paid it? Yeah, I've had to pay it. They're all devastated. And then um, on the night that they were all out, I got sent a video, a video message on my phone (laughs) of them all singing. And apparently I was the only one to get fined. No one else took the fine. And they all had their drinks. And it was, it was basically singing cheers for the drinks. You paid for the drinks. Yeah, I just That's paid nice. for the drinks while I was sat How'd out. How did that make you feel? Well, my missus didn't know that I paid the fine. So she pro- if she's listening, she probably knows that we're a grand <laughs> down, to be honest. <laughs> we're a grand down. Yeah, my heart bleeds for 